Real Madrid 3, Paris Saint-Germain 1. Real Madrid qualify for the quarterfinals 3-2 on aggregate. What a game. What a performance from Real Madrid. I talked to my friend Frank about Benzema being the last of his breed. A pure number nine, but he's strong, versatile, and a very intelligent attacker. And he definitely showed his quality. Um, Mbappe might be the future, but... Benzema delivered in the most spectacular way possible. A second half hat trick that will live long in my memory. For PSG, it was another capitulation. It's as simple as that. I could go on about how well they played in the first half and for certain parts of the second half, but yet again, in another Champions League game, when they had their own destiny firmly in their hands, they not only threw it away. They threw it, they kicked it, they smashed it and dropped it into a bottomless pit. I mean, what what else is there to say? Yet again, PSG just capitulated. You know, imagine winning a lottery ticket and instead of putting away the lottery ticket safely, you know, um, you just decide to put it among things you are planning to shred. So you wake up the next morning and shred all those papers and then you realize, oh no, My lottery ticket is in the things that I shredded. That's basically one way to summarize how PSG were. They had every opportunity to win the game and they just decided to throw it away. Um, It's hard not to feel sorry for their fans, but it goes to show that even at the highest level, the most experienced players feel the pressure. Uh, Marquinhos, who is often the most reliable you know, PSG player was poor. He was trying flakes inside the box, giving away the ball needlessly and partly responsible for Madrid's, um, I think it was the third goal, which was ultimately the winner for Madrid and doomed PSG. Um, not much of a tactician, but I always had my, excuse me, I always had my doubts about um, Messi, Mbappe and Neymar playing together. Uh, no issues with Mbappe. I think he's he's improved as a player. Messi's role, I kind of understand it, but Neymar, Neymar, though brilliant, sometimes he can be extremely frustrating. And his poor giveaway, you know, was the catalyst for, I believe, Madrid's second goal. Um, I think Neymar will go on to succeed in his career, but... PSG fans at this moment especially won't remember him too fondly, um, especially when when it's mattered the most. Uh, The first half, I mean, there's so much to talk about, but I think I'll just try to break down the first half the best I can. Mbappe was definitely in the mood. He had two good opportunities to score, but um, Courtois saved very well. Uh, When Mbappe finally scored, it was worth the wait. Uh, with about five minutes left to half time, Cavajal gave the ball away under pressure from Paredes, who played it to Neymar. Neymar clipped a first time ball to Mbappe, who, you know, was already on full sprint. He was one on one with Alaba. You know, he, he looked to shoot in the far corner, but he shot in the near post and passed Courtois. It was just a clinical finish. And at this point, I'm thinking all PSG need to do is just stay st- solid and let their front three be ruthless up front. Uh, but I think that was part of PSG's downfall. You know, a lot of possession and half-decent chances to kill the game off in the second half, but they just showed no conviction to to kill the game off. I think after about an hour, PSG finally decided it was time to basically just self-destruct. Donnarumma, who left AC Milan for PSG, you know, he had a fantastic Euros last year, but he made a terrible mistake to gift um, Benzema his first goal. Uh, Benzema put him under pressure. Donnarumma, you know, made a poor clearance. Vinicius got the ball, crossed to Benzema, and Benzema scored. Uh, does Kelo Navas make that mistake if he was playing? I highly doubt it. You know, there's a reason he was a big part of Madrid winning uh, three straight Champions League um, finals. So if I was Kelo Navas, I'd be feeling some type of way, honestly. 
uh, what minute? Seven, six minutes. Neymar gives the ball away needlessly in his own half. A Madrid, a Madrid break. Vinicius cuts it to Modric. Modric to Benzema. Benzema shoots um, over Donnarumma. Slight deflection that deceives Courtois. But at this point, you know, Madrid are just basically just have all the momentum and you, you just feel that a third goal is coming and the manner in which the third goal happened from a PSG point of view again is inexcusable straight from the kickoff um, Marquinhos makes a poor clearance it rolls to Benzema who at this point is um, full of confidence and just side foots it you know in his stride and Benzema gets his hat trick uh, PSG are just you know, down at this point. And it just looks like there's no hope. 40 goals for Benzema this season. PSG looked lost after that. Mbappe, who seems to rely on his speed, just could not find space. Neymar hardly showed any urgency or desperation to win it. Messi's late free kick, you know, went over the bar. Um, Courtois looked like he had it covered. Game over. Madrid win. Um... The Messi, Neymar, Mbappe experiment at this moment in time looks to looks like it's failed. Great players on paper, but defensively a huge liability. It's hard to blame Pochettino, but he had options on the bench to provide balance. Uh, when he did bring on the subs, it was more out of desperation because they hardly did anything. Uh, Di Maria, Draxler hardly, you know, had a chance to impress. You know, I wonder what someone like Wijnaldum is is thinking. Um, was he even on the bench or... I I don't know. But if ever there was a game that Wijnaldum, Wijnaldum was needed, it's probably this one. Considering um, the role that he played when he helped Liverpool come back from Barcelona, which was you know, quite possibly one of my favourite Champions League games to watch. Madrid subs, on the other hand, um, like I said, just made, um, no, sorry, Madrid subs made, made a huge impact, actually. Camavinga came in well for Cruz, Rodrigo, and uh, Vasquez added some much-needed energy, too. Um, Vasquez especially, you know, denying Mbappe's speed. Vinicius Jr. did not stop running all game. His decision-making, finishing uh, has greatly improved over the years. Um, the one chance he had, he should have scored, but it didn't matter in the end because his overall contribution was, was just simply outstanding. On current form, I'm definitely starting Vinicius on the Brazil squad for the World Cup. Uh, just his confidence is, is sky high. You know, he's just adapting extremely well to to Real Madrid, which is not a very easy to, place to play. You know, we've seen how the pressure often gets to a lot of these top players, but... Vinicius is showing the, you know, mental capability to handle the pressure of playing for a big club like Real Madrid. Asensio didn't play well, had a few half chances to break, but his first touch uh, let him down. Modric was phenomenal in this game. Um, there's a part where Modric and, and Messi were just, you know, sprinting full speed and Modric, Modric tackled messy you know it was it was a good competitive um game but just to see modric and messi going at it was 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 fun to watch a phenomenal midfielder um again another tottenham player who who left and is is thriving at another club um looking at you harry kane madrid not great defensively but experience uh definitely helped alaba and militao Shaky at times, but very solid. The question for Mbappe, does he leave PSG for Madrid um, so that they have a front three of Vinicius, Benzema and Mbappe? That's, that's, quite, the, that's quite the front three. Messi's role today, I was trying to understand it. He seemed to have this free role. Um, he was anonymous for parts of the game. I think the best chance that he created was a really good slide rule pass to Mbappe but you know I think Carvajal cut it off cut the pass off um, but other than that you know 
do we blame Pochettino for not utilizing Messi? You know, clearly his role on this team, he has less pressure, you know, to to carry the team. Um, unlike Barcelona. So he doesn't feel that he needs to do certain things. And you can see by the way he plays. Uh, but, I mean, this was a game for, for the superstars to, to arrive. But they, PSG, once again, just just capitulate. At some point, the commentator said that he doesn't recall PSG um, falling apart this much. And I'm surprised he said that because as bad as this loss was for PSG, as bad as they gave the game away, I think nothing compares to um, the miracle at, at Barcelona when I think they were up four goals and again, they just fell apart. So nothing nothing quite, quite beats that capitulation. So Madrid qualified for the quarterfinals in spectacular fashion. Um, in other news, uh, Chelsea's assets have been frozen by the UK government. Uh, yeah, lots to break down there, but you know, for right now, this this was the game. This is probably the game of the week, and um, yeah, looking forward to other Champions League games.